Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea and I'm an accountant in the DC area. I'm here to talk about productivity, lifestyle, and health vlogs. So in this video, I'm bringing you guys along with me so you can see what my typical nine to five days look like. Let's get started. All right guys, so just got into the office and I uh, grabbed some mail and it's time for me to head home and uh, log on to my laptop as uh, we're having a meeting shortly. One of the first things that I do is I have to go to the office and check if there's any mail. I do not run to the office daily. I'll go a few times a week, you know, just depending on my workload and depending if uh, someone has informed me that there is something in the office for me to get. So I just go to the office real quick and then I come home. Sometimes I'll stay at the office, but the majority of the time I just come and work from home. One of the other first things that I do is I open up my daily planner and my notebook. I just make sure that anything that I've written down to see if there's anything that I need to revisit or if there's any assignments or any anything that I was working on the day before that I had not finished so I can go ahead and finish the following day. So I'll look at my notes and I also make sure if there's any meetings for the day that I need to get ready for. I just got back from the office, went to go grab some mail. So right now I made it back on time because we're about to start our weekly meeting and uh, we have this uh, weekly meeting every Monday. So I need to log in and I'll talk to you guys soon. So I just finished the weekly meeting and I don't know about you guys, but for the ones that work from home and uh, have Zoom meetings, um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys use the filter backgrounds. I do. Majority of my coworkers do not. Uh, they don't mind what their settings are, um, and they might have like a pile of laundry in their background, or you know, they might be working in like you know in the shed <laughs> of their house. But I do try to be professional. Sometimes I do have the filters. Today I did. I didn't want people to be seeing that I have glasses in the background and I have like a wine bottle back there. I'm having my basement being remodeled right now, so I just couldn't work in my actual office. So I'm working right now off my dining table. So this was like the background. I was choosing between this being the background or the filter. So I chose with the filter. But um, obviously on this video, I'm not able to choose filters. So if you're wondering why, is, why do we see a glass as a wine bottle, well, that's the reason. So this is my Zoom background filter that I use. Um, I found this image on uh, Google. I just uh, typed in office space and workspace and I just came up with this um, image. So this is the my, what I consider my professional background filter. So right now my plans are to enter all expenses. Then I need to go ahead and allocate them. And um, shortly after I reconcile, I mostly reconcile all accounts at the end of the month. And that is like one of my favorite things to do. I know that you guys might be looking at like, oh, she likes to reconcile accounts. I, I just love making sure that, you know, my debits and credits balance, that they're balanced, that there's balance to the T, to the penny. I, I just don't know. I find it fun. I find it as a puzzle, like a, that you need to solve and find out where's the missing number, why it's not balancing. I, it's something that I don't know if it's part of because I am OCD, that it has something to do that I like that things are balanced, that, you know, everything is organized. With that said, that's how I start off my morning. So our busiest time is right now because the end of the year is approaching. Uh, this is a time where I need to reconcile all accounts, make sure that all expenses are categorized correctly and entered correctly. I also need to analyze financial data and see if there's any accounting discrepancies. So this is the prettiest, busiest time right now for us. But um, it's something that I enjoy. I just love accounting. So I know it's not for everybody, but I truly enjoy because like, every day is something new and I love challenges. Here 
know about you guys, but working from home, one of the challenges is also when the system server is down. I'm in the middle of entering the expenses and the server sometimes goes down. Not a lot, but there are times when it goes down and I just can't. I try to stay composed, stay calm, and look at the screen and go, no, I was so close to entering this, you know, and um, it does suck when the server goes down because you, you're you on this mindset, you're on this pace of go, 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 and then when the server just goes down, you get a little flustered, mad, but with that said, let's just go have lunch. I uh, For lunch, I don't uh, tend not to eat out. I tend to make food at home for the week and eat um, leftover food. Um, because I like to know what I'm what I'm consuming and also you just save money that way you know because before I was having a lot of Uber Eats and the deliveries and tips started adding up and the food started adding up so it's just easier and better to just like and it's healthier sometimes it was healthier eating homemade meal so let's go have lunch so this is what I'm having for lunch it is just chicken and rice and uh, my husband cooked this chicken. I love it. I don't know the exact greetings that he put for this good chicken, but I know it's a uh, lemon and pepper and some type of maybe all seasoning or maybe some poultry seasoning, but it's pretty good. And then my water. just finished my lunch and I have a few more minutes before I have to log back in but um, I just wanted to let, let you guys know that work from home is wonderful but it also has its, some of its challenges you are in the comfort of your own home you know you get to relax you don't have to worry about you know if it's raining outside and having running to the office or if it's like there's a if it's snowing outside and how traffic's going to be but there are other challenges where you need to get a hold of somebody you know talking to your supervisor or your coworkers. They, you might send them an email and they might not get right back to you due to their workloads. Sometimes I call my supervisor as I find that calling is easier and I'll get my answer faster. But, but my supervisor might not answer. You know, my supervisor might be in a meeting or have be on, you know, on another call or, you know, who knows what the reason may be. But there, so there are some challenges. You know, you also get to dress however you would like. I was in the beginning, you know, dressing a lot leisure clothing and, you know, comfy outfits, sweats, you know. Um, but I decided to make a, a better habit of like dressing up for work. Just a personal preference. You know, we're not sure if we're going to be going back soon to the office. Um, there's talks that, that we might just, I just wanted to have a good habit of like going back to, you know, waking up a little early, you know, dressing up and just, you know, just something that I just want to make a good habit of. Another plus is that uh, you just don't have to wear makeup, you know, just you can wear light makeup if you want to, but you don't have to wear makeup. Another wonderful thing about working from home is if you have a pet, especially a dog, you can go out for walks with the dogs, you know, and that's something that I do know that, you know, when I return back to the office, I'm going to miss, you know, it's got used to uh, being with my dog and, you know, we'll both be sad when, when I have to return. So this is my baby. He is a great day and uh, his name is Apollo. This is his bed. He uh, lays right next to me while I'm working. And uh, we just got new hardwood floors in the house. So he has his own little rug section. Apollo, hi baby. Hi my love. Sorry for his bed. I wash his bed every day but he just still somehow gets sometimes mud in but you know I love uh, having my lunches with him so we can uh, spend some time together and we're both gonna miss it when I return back to the office I love you
it's five o'clock and it's officially time for me to clock out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. I am interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Please let me know what you guys like me to add, talk more about, and don't forget to subscribe. This is my first time documenting my nine to five schedule, what it looks like working remotely from home. I'm an accountant in the DC area. I plan to make more and share more videos of myself. I'll see you guys in the following video. Take care. Bye guys.